All right, guys. Well, you requested it, so here it is. This is the Battle Box Edition cigar, and this is from Warfighter Tobacco. So I just uh, went to their website, and I want to read a little bit about the cigar before I uh, smoke it. Uh, yeah, WarfighterTobacco.com. Battle Box Edition cigar looks like a five pack for forty nine ninety five. I didn't buy this. This came free in a uh, battle box. Uh, so yeah, let's see what they have to say about it. This is what happens when two awesome brands get together and try to squeeze some extra freedom out of a cigar. These premium Sumatra blends are handmade in our new factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Uh, like our 7.62 millimeter Sumatra, these battle box editions are smooth throughout. The wrapper has been aged longer, giving it that dark appearance, which adds to the nuanced, nuanced flavors without sacrificing the consistency, smooth, consistently smooth smoke. Uh, the results is an any time of the day smoke. Well, it is any time of the day right now. Uh, like a sniper in a two-day hide, they don't wait that long to miss. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, wrapper is an Indonesian Sumatra. The binder and the filler are Nicaraguan tobacco. It's got five out of five stars based on two different reviews. First person, Salvador Gomez said, great flavors all throughout, uh, worth every penny. Kevin Whitney said, perfect for any occasion. All right, cool. So I'm expecting an any time of the day smoke to be medium bodied. So we will see. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, there's the box. Warfighter Tobacco, Battle Box Edition. Of course, their social media stuff. And there is a coupon code here, okay, if you'd like to use that. It is Battle20, B-A-T-T-L-2-0. And that'll be 20% off, so 50 bucks for a five pack and 20% off, that's 10 bucks. You know, so now you're at $40 for five cigars. All right, while I write about it, let's smoke it. Pop it out of its uh, little box here. Box is cool, might save that, might not, don't know. There's our cigar. All right, so it is cello wrapped inside the box. Okay. Hmm. Smells good. There's a little bit of a uh, filler sticking out the foot here. It's not really a shaggy cut. Sometimes they'll purposely do that, but <clears throat> it just looks like a you know shallow cut on it. There's a string coming out of the end of the scar. It's not a hair. It's just a uh, fiber. Looks like plant fiber. All right, so. <sighs> The foot, foot smells great. The wrapper, wrapper kind of smells a little bit like cologne. <laughs> I don't know. I'd love a cologne that smells like this. It's kind of tobacco, kind of cologne-y for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, um, looks like there is a double cap on here. All right. So let's get it cut. And we'll light up and try it. I'm excited to try this one. I said uh, one of the more requested cigars ever since I showed it on uh, camera there. All right. All right. So it is uh, twelve oh three. Give you a reference on my little table lighter, which I will do a video on very soon. But yeah, you can see the uh, the band here. Very simple, just says Warfire Tobacco Company, and of course this one has the Battle Box like uh, helmet logo. <laughs> it's a uh, looks like Churchill. Let me get the actual dimensions on this uh, sick, but we'll see. You can never really tell how long a cigar is going to smoke until you you smoke one. Just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's going to be an hour and a half or two hour smoke. Sometimes it's a lighter pack. Okay.
sit back and relax a little bit here. Mm. Initial impressions uh, has a little hint of sweetness to it. it is It is kind of a darker um, more of an aged tobacco type flavor. It's a little bit uh, on the creamy side as well. It's pretty good. It's pretty smooth. There's uh, almost no no like uh, peppery kick or anything like that. There's no real spice to it. Not a, not a bad start at all. I like it. Pretty good. So uh, yeah, and the, oh, the room note's great. Oh God, it smells really good. Ah, oh, just rich, very very sweet smelling in the air. But uh, yeah, so yeah, a little bit after uh, noon here. Smoke for a little while. If something changes, flavor changes, I'll let you know. Maybe get back in five minutes. Who knows? Uh, it is a, a bigger cigar. Maybe I have some time on here. Maybe I'll do a story time video. That sounds good. So yeah, I'm gonna. Shut the camera off right now, do a story time, and come back. Alright, so, took the band off about, I don't know, two or three minutes ago. Slid right off, didn't take any wrapper with it, which is good. Um, let's actually do a time check real quick, because I'm going to be done with this pretty soon. It is uh, 142, so it's about an hour and 40 minutes, something like that. This is uh, easily a two hour smoke. Okay, um, there's there's probably a good 20 minutes left in this thing, at least, at least, but I'm going to end it here. Uh, a couple reasons. Number one, it's uh, ramping up in strength quite a bit. I don't think this is full-bodied. I wouldn't say it's a full-bodied smoke, but it's a long smoke with a lot of tobacco. So for me, on my light lunch, it's starting to hit me. The nicotine's hit me. I can feel it, you know, running through my body, you know, so I don't want to get a nicotine buzz or nicotine high or anything like that. Um... They did change flavors though. When I first started this, it was a little less than the first third. It started off creamy, um, very, very smooth, and it had some sweetness to it. And that all dropped off. Like I said, a little bit before the first third was done. Um, no longer sweet at all. Most of the cigar was not sweet. Uh, it was actually quite earthy. Um, the creaminess dropped off too completely, and it was kind of a cocoa thing going on. So the majority of this cigar was earth and cocoa. Not chocolate, you know what I mean? There's no sweetness whatsoever. In the beginning, I didn't even taste that, that cocoa flavor. When I say cocoa, I mean a little bit of cocoa powder. You go to the store and buy cocoa powder, you know, lick your finger sticking it, taste it. Um, that's what it tastes like. But it was, uh, it was pleasant. It wasn't unpleasant because it wasn't sweet. That makes sense. I, cigar guys, you know what I'm talking about anyway. If you're watching a cigar review, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, it is a pleasant thing. If you like earth though, this was the majority of this uh, smoke was very earthy, you know, and, and deep. Um, it, and the, the spiciness to it definitely ramped up. It wasn't specifically pepper, you know, like peppercorn or peppers, like, you know, chili peppers. It was just a spice, just a strong spice, tingling in your mouth, um, kind of a, I don't know, a spice sensation. So uh, because it was a longer smoke, because it was more tobacco, it was a bigger cigar, um, like I said, that nicotine's ramping up. So I, I still really think that it was medium bodied and medium strength. But it's kind of kicking my butt, so I am going to put it out. Put one more, take one more little puff on it, and then call it a day here. As the kid in the souped-up neon drives by. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let that die out. Um, it was a good cigar. It was a good cigar, but I'm going to disagree 100%. On it's an anytime smoke. I would not want to wake up and have this with my breakfast. Um, I don't know if you're retired. I suppose it's an anytime smoke if you got two hours to kill. But you certainly wouldn't want to light this up on your your uh, lunch break at work. You know what I mean? So anytime smoke, not at all. Quality cigar, yes, very much a quality cigar. So uh, Warfighter Tobacco, the people who made this cigar. Uh, I'd be interested in trying some of the other Stogies. Uh, they have reasonable prices. Most of their cigars on their site range, uh, you know, about $8, $9 a cigar. 
They do a lot of five packs and stuff. Um, it's worth checking out, definitely. It's a, it's a very high quality cigar. The burn was perfect. I had no burn issues whatsoever. And like I said, it, it almost went out, but didn't. And that was me yapping, doing a, a story time video, which is surprising because if it was any other cigar, it probably would have just went out. So it did uh, you know, retain that, that ember inside. Um, but yeah, high quality. It's just for flavor profile. The majority of it, again, earth and cocoa, no sweetness and a lot of spice. So if you're into that, you might want to check it out. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And stay tuned for the story time video. I will post that as well. So, anyway, take it easy, guys.